Michael Grinder again, exploring more about group dynamics. In a previous episode, we talked about the three stages of irritability. We had the idea of a group being very, very shocked, confused, and then annoyed. How do you, if you're the leader, the person in charge, respond to each of those? Very differently, hopefully. Number one, when a group is shocked, how you respond to the individual that's shocking the other members of the group. If you're too harsh, the other members think, whoa, you're gonna do that to them. So when a group is being shocked, be very gentle in terms of responding or managing that individual. However, if a group is confused, they're giving you a different level of permission. They now want you to intervene and be a little more harsh. Two ways you can be harsh. Number one, you can delay the person. Uh, excuse me, um, can we uh, talk about that later? Number two, go ahead and, and have an immediate intervention that warns them that if they don't stop, something else is gonna happen. Uh, Fred, we've talked about this before. Not at this meeting. That may seem harsh, but it's only harsh if the group is shocked. If the group is confused, they actually want you to do that. So you have to have more than one philosophy in terms of how to manage. The annoyed is the big one. If a group is literally annoyed, as evidenced by them full turning, talking to a neighbor about this, the group is demanding of you to handle that situation now. Now in Great Britain, it can't be done in front of people. It's just, just impolite. Uh, socially, it doesn't work well. But that means that you have to immediately, when that meeting is over, talk to that person and handle that and make sure it doesn't happen again. Three stages. We have the shock, the confused, and the annoyed. Your response indicates your leadership. 